Okay, welcome to episode one of a new series of videos which we are calling Pro Shop. And uh, well, you mightn't find every one of these products in your local Pro Shop, but you certainly will find them from our channel sponsor, and that is Hot Golf. And more about them a little bit later on in the video. But what is this all about? Well, I have two intentions. One is to feature a number of products that we don't necessarily normally review on the channel. So they're kind of accessories, launch monitors, GPS devices, maybe some footwear, maybe some clothing as well we shall see I've got plenty in store to look at the second part of the video is really to focus on uh, well perhaps a complaint that I get from a number of viewers and that's the fact that golf is incredibly expensive the price of new drivers is extortionate and can I manage to find any bargains out there that I can relate to you that you're perhaps not familiar with and from what I've seen so far there could be a few that feature in today's episode Right, I'm going to kick things off with a launch monitor that I've been really personally interested in for a number of years. This isn't new to the market, but is very interesting in what they've done this week and this next couple of weeks at least, because this is something that has got a bit of a uh, special price going on because of the Masters. It is, of course, Flightscope Mevo. Now, first of all, I just want to talk about how small this thing is. You can probably see from the size of my hand, but just to give you a better idea, that is my phone and that is Flightscope Mevo. And this is far smaller than I ever thought it would be. It's a launch monitor and it provides some incredible data that can be really helpful and useful for you to start gapping your bag, for instance, getting a real understanding of your yardages out on the course. The kind of information it will provide is the carry distance, spin number, launch angle, ball speed, club head speed, and also peak height. The data is recorded on the Mevo app, it records your swing, provides your data. It's incredibly easy to use. And the good thing going back to the size reference was this kind of thing just folds up, fits inside your pocket, inside your golf bag, and you can get this thing going pretty much in a couple of minutes, whether that be at the driving range or take it out on the course. But it's really important to have that information to get a better understanding of exactly what your clubs are doing in terms of performance. So it can be really useful, can be used in indoor and outdoor everybody right now is trying to get their hands on some form of launch monitor and to be honest with you although it's been out for a couple of years it does it provides an incredibly accurate number which is surprising to be quite honest with you such a small device 3d doppler radar and the accuracy is incredible even when you compare it to the likes of trackman and the likes of the foresight sports it's not that much difference and certainly enough in my opinion for most average golfers to gain a bit of a benefit out on the fairways but the big deal is this this used to be priced at around sort of 500 quid but right now i think it's until the 17th of april you can buy that for 360 pound from our partners at hot golf interesting product and really worth considering at that kind of price now the next thing i'm going to move to is a driver and drivers have been hugely criticized on the channel over this last couple of years the main criticism being the price point Pretty much the majority of things that we see right now are, let's call them 500 pound flat because give or take, that's where they sit. So what I wanted to see was whether or not we can find a couple of products out there that um, well, can save you a few quid without necessarily losing out in terms of performance. And to be honest with you, this is a product, well, two products actually, the Shrixen ZX5 and the Shrixen ZX7 drivers. Now, this is Mark 1 that I've got in my hand, and that's the one that I want to talk to you about right now. They've done incredibly well, Srixen, over this last couple of years, and um, I took the ZX5 into the uh, data room at Hollywell Golf Club to collect some numbers and see what this thing do does in terms of performance. Now, for me, do I think this is as good as the Mark 2? No, I don't. Do I think it is worth half the price of the Mark 2? Absolutely, yes, I do. There are minor differences and minor tweaks in terms of what's going on in the progress of this product range, but this driver, both of them, ZX7 or ZX5, are retailing at Hot Golf at 249 quid right now. now that's an incredible difference in terms of where we're at with that 500 pound driver. I'm no great mathematician, but that's literally half the price of what you're being asked to pay. So this is brand new, by the way. But there's also one other consideration, because all the shafts that they've been provided with in terms of this 
uh, ZX5 and ZX7 uh, Mark 1s are small batch shafts from Pro Project X. This is the Evenflow Riptide. Why am I telling you that? Well, because that shaft is worth 240 quid at retail. So, in other words, you're getting the head pretty much for free, or you're getting the shaft for free, whichever way you look at it, but you cannot lose with that kind of deal. So you're getting a, this is brand new, by the way, this isn't a, this isn't a used product, this is brand new product, 249 quid. That shaft is pretty much worth exactly the same kind of money if you were trying to buy that online now. So pretty much a no-brainer and some option at least to save you some significant money if you don't fancy shelling out that top end at 500. So Golf is still affordable even in brand new product if you're prepared to have a look around in the right places. Right, talking about affordability, next up is a golf ball. And it's a golf ball from TaylorMade. It's these things that I have featured on the channel in, uh, in recent weeks. I did a review in the winter, to be honest with you, because I was looking at a value ball that, um, well, would do a job, basically. Why spend big money during the summer months, or the winter months, rather, on a golf ball? That gets very muddy, gets lost under leaves, and, uh, well, I tried the tailor-made distance ball, and I gave a very favourable review. I actually bought those balls at the time from Amazon, and I was suggesting how good it was, because they were, I think, $15.99 a dozen, which, to me, was a real good price point. It performed really, really well, to my surprise, to be quite honest with you. But what's going on right now is you can buy tailor-made distance golf balls in a three-for-two deal. So that's 36 golf balls, and it basically works out at £11, or just over £11 a dozen, which, again, is a phenomenal price point for a decent product, and, again, very much at the affordable end of uh, playing golf without burning a hole in your pocket. So that's a golf ball at a real decent price as well. Right, what have I got next? Because I'm rattling through these and uh, I hope some of these items that we've featured so far might just, uh, well, be of interest to you. I'm going to reach across to the next thing, which is a piece of footwear. Just take a look at that. That is the new Under Armour Phantom Golf Shoe. It's kind of like the material, the fabric is very soft indeed. It's almost like a kind of that sock idea where you pull it on. It's a second skin in terms of uh, how it fits. Extremely comfortable to wear. What I was really impressed with again though is if you take a look underneath and just to have a look at the grip, that's very, very different from what we've seen in terms of uh, spike lists, see if you can get a better look at their kind of the depth of them. They're very deep in terms of that grip and the groove. And what I'm interested in is just how good that is in terms of out on the fairways. But don't forget, this is uh, a bright white shoe. You're probably wearing it in fairly dry conditions in the summer, but I do know they're available in a number of color options as well. It says 360 weather protection. So I would assume again, fairly waterproof. I haven't mentioned the price, have I? Because that's the big deal about this whole series of videos. It's really, don't get me wrong, I've got to be very careful here that this doesn't come across as a bit of a sales pitch because trust me, I don't get nothing in terms of benefit from whether you buy these products or not, but it's a new area which I'd like to delve into to highlight these products. But me highlighting them and me sort of coming across as selling them is something that I've got to be very wary of. Anyway, that said, those are priced at, I think, £89. And once again, to me, that's a real well-priced product. And it's real decent quality. I love the way it fits. I love that sock idea when you pull it on. It's just like a second skin. Really, really impressed with what Under Armour have done there. And I think, um, you know, for that kind of money, extremely good value. Right, I've got one more product that I want to finish off with, and that's because it is, of course, Masters Week. I talked about the Masters special in terms of uh, the Flight Scope Mevo. We've also got, whilst it's not a special and it's quite expensive as well, this is certainly not at that budget end, but it's a product that I can't ignore. It's the Tailor Made Masters Tour Bag. You'll see all the staffers using it this week at um, Augusta. And uh, I took it out on the course to film at Hollywell Golf Club uh, earlier on this week. The sun was shining. The bag looked absolutely stunning, to be quite honest with you. It's a type of thing at £499 that I don't think you're really going to uh, drag around 
on a Saturday afternoon in October when it's peeing down with rain in the UK at least it's probably going to uh, sit in uh, well pride of place somewhere as a little bit of a collector's item but I thought I would highlight that bag because it's absolutely stunning and obviously it's master's week Right, that's pretty much me done for my very first episode of Pro Shop. I'm sure this thing will evolve and develop as we go along. And uh, more importantly, right now, I'm interested in your feedback to see how we develop and evolve. So what I want to know is this. Was there any interest in the products that I've shown you in today's episode? Have you tried any of these products in today's episode? And if so, this is a real video where I'd like to see some. The comment section buzzing. I want... Great communication between other viewers to let them know, for example, what is this ZX7 like, Mark 1? Have you got any feedback that you can relate to your uh, fellow golfer? Because that's the kind of thing I want to know. I'd also like to know what you think of our attempt at this video and if it's something that uh, you approve of and perhaps what you'd like to see feature within future episodes. Because as you know, I'm always all ears and happy to accommodate where possible. I do want to thank the sponsor of the video which is hot golf they've been very good to us in this last few months and uh, the idea of me being able to access product that i wouldn't ordinarily gives us another angle to provide content to you the viewer so i hope you enjoyed it i'm sure you'll let me know if you don't thanks for watching and i'll see you all tomorrow night